France for slavery in Haiti and the Netherlands for the Sulu name, sorry, sorry name, a CARICOM member for the, what is it? Suriname. Oh, Suriname. Okay, Suriname. Thank you. That's in South and, America. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. Um, a CARICOM member in, in former Dutch colony on the, on the northern east edge of South America. Right. Okay. Go ahead, Dr. Yapa. I don't know some things. I'm geographically challenged. I know about three <laughs> now. You know, got a okay. Family. I have a friend that came from there, and we talked at length about it. Okay. Uh, listen, <laughs> they have been. They have hired British law firms. Oh wow! They not. They wow! They had hired a British law firm for this. I was That's interesting. Say that. <laughs> wow. I was going to say, you know, they have the appropriate idea. It's, it's, it's not. It's. I, I hate to speak on this because I'm going to insult somebody. One, <laughs> if you're going to European courts <laughs> with European attorneys to sue <laughs> about European atrocities on melanin-rich people. Right. And you're utilizing the wrong verbiage, such as things like reparation. Mm. You don't want reparation. You want restoration. You want to be restored. Right. A lot of things are wrong in these so-called attorneys that work for the enemy. Because remember, right. they're barristers. They're barristers. Uh, uh, all of these attorneys that are part of the bar system with bar cards, they're all barristers of London. They're subdivisions of the barristers of London. So uh, to think that you're going to take a bunch of barristers of London and sue a bunch of the European uh, conglomerates and agencies, a lot of them which started from London, that were responsible for enslaving the dang planet um, in a so-called European court. Uh, you might want to think again, and, and you're using the wrong words, and they're allowing you to use the wrong words, knowing that reparations is, is not the same thing as restoration or restoration. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, I'm listening to it, and I'm thinking, hmm, I think that's good, right. but how far it's going to go is another story. They needed to bring mm -hmm. multiple, at least they had the right idea. When I said specifics, they did name which so-called European countries they were suing about because you, you, you have to be specific. You can't just be like, we're suing European nations. Uh, excuse me? Which European nations? Uh, right. And that means which mm -hmm. corporation? And even then, they may not know enough to know which corporations were responsible initially mm -hmm. for the damage. And a lot of those corporations uh, are still existing, but they have changed their names or been bought up by a, a sister corporation or a parent corporation or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like Wamu was bought, sucked up by Chase. Well, Chase has been around for a long time. Matter of fact, Chase is named after Samuel P. Chase, uh, mm. which was uh, one of the Secretary of Treasury. I want to say under George Washington, Link, don't quote me, George Washington, Lincoln, one of those presidents way back when. Uh, if you get to finding out what's going on, but uh, people don't even know which countries were, res well, not countries, which corporations were responsible for the enslavement of various people in the United States and other places in America. There were different corporations that were called by their corporate names, and when you do your due diligence, you will find, oh, it was this corporation or that corporation, which they'll say, well, that corporation no longer exists. Well, now you got to try to find who swallowed them up or all they did was change their name or what. To say it's the nation, which is another corporation, is not the same thing. You need to sue this corporation, this corporation, and this corporation. Do like they do. Throw a bunch of shit at the wall and see what the hell sticks. Wow. I know. <laughs> Whew. Okay, sis, were you done with the story? Are you, uh, cause I'm ready to move on to talk about these. Uh, mm -hmm. This is I'm around. Okay, let's let's talk about these shutdowns, and uh, we're going to talk about this a little bit, and then we'll start letting those of you who want to, I see your hands up, so just hang in there with us. I know it's late in other parts of the of the, uh, the, the country, so uh, we promise we'll get to you shortly here. But I want uh, to talk, the first shutdown I want to talk about is, uh, this is some good information, y'all. Those of y'all who just joined us, please go back and hit the, get the archives, because, I mean, you know, we're bringing it as usual, though. Um, first shutdown I want to talk about is 
not the government, but the truckers. I remember, Dr. Yaffa, last week we had a, a, a brother called in and said that he would let us know about the, the truckers that were talking about going on strike. Remember that? My homie Nick from, from Southern California, the medic. Yes, yes. So I thought I would go and do some research on that, and um, I found a lot of information on what, is, what actually is going down with the uh, truckers going on strike. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because, listen, family, Will it happen or won't it happen? Hell, I don't know. But if they're talking about doing it, then you need to know that they're talking about doing it. That's why I'm bringing this first, because it says the truckers across the U.S. are heading to Washington, D.C. for a nationwide strike on October the 11th through the 13th. Okay? And, uh, and my question was, you mean tell me you're going to do a shutdown on, on a shutdown? You're going to go, you're going to do a shutdown? At the shutdown, that's, you know, figure that one out. A new, okay, this, but this is the story about this, uh, this uh, trucking, uh, these truckers who are going to come out shutting down the trucking system on October the 11th. And they made this decision, well, let me read your article. A new social media rallying call has truckers across America buzzing, citing government corruption as its main grievance. A Facebook group dubbed Truckers to Shut Down America is calling for a three-day general strike set to take place October the 11th through the 13th. Uh, the page has quickly amassed more than 53,000 Facebook likes since its launch on September the 15th. And by the way, um, they took that page down. Facebook smashed that page straight down. Wow. Um, on the side note, as I was telling since earlier, they smashed that page down, but they let the page stay up, the one that the person put up about Trayvon Martin with all those crazy-ass pictures with him laying out in the yard and beating and, and had him, you know, they really just... just yeah, the the and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then... He urinated, defecated. Mm-hmm, and a lot of people complained to Facebook. They took it down for about an hour or two. They put it right back up. But this, these people say they've been taken down. So anyway... Scores of truckers have declared their solidarity with the movement, posting messages like thank you, patriot, God see, along with selfies, selfies taken in their trucks. Whatever that means, selfies. I don't know what selfies is, y'all. I'm, I'm going to do some research on that. Anyway, while the page's description does not list specific goals in terms of negotiation, the plans for the strike read thus. Truck drivers will not haul freight. Workers will call in sick. Consumers will not buy or sell anything on this date. Stay home, buy nothing. In addition, a rise of the Constitution event page calls truckers to gather in Washington, D.C. in an effort to restore the Constitution, defund Obamacare, lower fuel prices. Now, I want to tell you all before I finish this, and actually I have a two-minute clip I want to play for you. Um, this is uh, this is the first time that they, you know, have went on strike or even threatened a strike. They've done it uh, several times before. Um, I know one, well, I think, it was in 2006, and um, and I forget what the other one was. But I want to play this uh, two-minute clip for you. And I believe that this, matter of fact, this is the one that was back in February when they were talking about doing the strike. And how come I do not see it on my board? <laughs> Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, yeah, there it is. I'll be right back in about two minutes. A convoy of protesting truckers circled the National Mall in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday as part of a rally petitioning Congress to address rapidly rising oil prices. Gas prices reached an average of 3 U.S. dollars and 60 cents a gallon, or 66 cents higher than one year ago. Oil futures rose to their own new record, near $120 a barrel on Monday. This is about the people in White House. So we've got to get a handle on these oil companies. They're raking us over the coals. The truckers are calling on Congress to stop subsidizing big oil companies, release oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, and open up domestic drilling, among other things. A trucking shutdown is planned for May 5th. We spoke to J.B. Schaffner of Truckers and Citizens United to find out more about Tuesday's rally. We rolled in yesterday. We got attention. We had a meeting with Senator Jeff Sessions. We were so well received. We made the suggestion to have the old decommissioned military bases used to build 
brand new refineries and the diversion of oil into the strategic reserve. Those were two of the strongest demands that we had. We're not going to stop until we actually do receive that immediate relief. This uh, tax check that's going to be coming out, that's nice, but I do have to say it's only $600 for each and every person. $600 is not going to save a business. $600 is not going to keep the bank from foreclosing on people's homes. That's what fuels our fire, the passion for what we feel that's happening to truckers and citizens, you know, to the foundation of what this country is, and that's us. We have scheduled a series of events. May 1st is just a one-day protest, and May 5th being the nationwide shutdown. Okay, and so that's when they did their little strike back in May, and um, and so they were they were striking about the oil, as you heard, the oil prices and everything going up. That's what that particular strike was about. Now, this particular strike that they're talking about doing October the 11th, um, this is what they're they're striking for. It says the American people. Uh, okay, you okay, Dr. Yalpa? Because <laughs> I didn't even want to read that part. Every now and then I try to learn to shut up. You know, sometimes I start talking because I think someone is done, and then I realize, oops, I blew it. They weren't done yet, so I'm, I'm figuring you're not done yet. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not done yet, but I didn't know when I said the American people, I kind of felt something. <laughs> but the American people are sick and tired of the corruption that is destroying America. This is what they're saying while they're doing the strike. We, therefore, declare a general strike on the weekend of October the 11th through the 13th, 2013. Truck drivers will not haul freight. Americans can strike in solidarity with truck drivers. The same thing I just read. The American people are sick and tired of the corruption that is destroying America. We, therefore, declare a general strike on the weekend of October 11th through 13th. Okay, and so um, the reason why uh, and I, I thank the brother last week who brought this story because, like I said, I wanted to find out what it was about, and I saw it all over the Internet. I actually called, you know, my mom and them and told them, hey, look, I don't know if it's going to go down, whatever. Just if you got to get some groceries, just get the groceries, have them in your house just in case. You just never know. It's not for you to get all frustrated and go, oh, my God, oh, my God, we're about to. No, it's not that kind of thing because you don't want to. Uh, bring your energy level vibrating that low to where you're afraid that something's going to happen on that particular day. But this is more like, uh, you know, if you can kind of get some extra stuff in your home, get it and, and put it in your home. You just never know because if, if the trucking system does stop, let's just say they do, what I'm thinking is that, you know, uh, a lot of food gets traveled back and forth over the road. But I used to work for Kraft Foods. And I worked in the trucking department. I was the one who who um, who brought the trucks in, who checked them in, and made sure the manifest was right. And I was the one who sent out trucks. And so uh, I do understand how the trucking system is very important when it comes to delivering food to the grocery stores and across the country. So I can see a big problem. And it's said that it would take about three days for the country to actually shut completely down when it comes to the trucking system. And also I'm thinking about the uh, gasoline, um, the, 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 the trucks that carry the gasoline. I mean, that can be something that can be a problem too. Uh, but again, this is not like um, every trucker is going to do it. I don't know the whole preliminaries of it, but I do know that a lot of people have, a lot of truckers have come together and said, yeah, we're going to do it. And they were they were tearing Facebook up and, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the big eye, the big brother who... <laughs> who on Facebook shut that shit down. They said, uh-uh, that ain't happening over here. So um, now I'm done, Dr. Yaffa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, sorry, KJ, for cutting you off. Seriously, I thought you were done. When you, when you read the headline, I thought that was the story. <laughs> oh, um, um, So I'm taking it since you deferred okay. to me. You want my, my feedback is what that's about, right? Well, this is it for I, I will say this. <laughs> I, 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 I admire the fact that they had enough foresight to give people an adequate amount of notice. Now, were it not for Nick, I would have no clue about it because I don't watch these people's news. I have no idea what's going on. In order for me to become aware of the news, people have to text me, call me, email me, and hope that I have checked my email, which I don't check all the time here lately. I've had a headache for almost a week now. Today is the first day I haven't had a headache from talking on the phone too much with these Bluetooth and all those other.